You could always try harness racing. It's known for its thrills and spills. You might remember this her horrific crash at Alexandra Park. It saw Todd Mitchell rush to the rescue of fellow rainsman James Stormont two months ago. Now, when we caught up with the two drivers, Todd invited us to see for ourselves how safe harness racing actually is. And although we both have a fear of horses, we did accept the challenge. Yes, yes. Hi, and Todd, I've seen you before. Hey, nice to see you again, Todd. What do we have to do? What's the whole challenge? We're going to go 2,200 metres, so we're going to go two rounds in a dual sulky, and hopefully Tony and I are going to be the victors. How much about this is a rapport between the two of you? Because, you know, Todd and I, have, we've met before, we've got history. And you're assuming that me and the Zedmeister don't feel a natural affinity? No. Yeah. no. I think we're going to be a good team, right? <laughs> I'm so feeling who's comfortable. More to win? Who's more likely to win? <laughs> That's how you operate around the horses, I'm safe. It's not a lot to him, Tony. No, I pictured the seat being a bit more substantial. I'll be all right. I bought my prop. I'm not steering the horse, eh? <laughs> just, just wanting to clarify that. Funnily enough, your horse just shook his head. I don't think he wants you holding the reins, mate. We've got some driving clothes, some deck out and pants and colours. I haven't worn white pants since I was uh, probably 14. <laughs> Right, guys, uniforms, um, and we're wearing safety vests. Case, Zach, not just doing Okay. Also, the safety helmet, yeah. We've got to kick you up in these. Suit up, guys. Okay, let's go get changed. Okay, let's go get changed. Put your bum on, swing your legs around. That goes under there? Yeah. Under your bum. If this horse takes off right now, yeah. I'm on my own, aren't I? Yeah. Can you get in? Please get in. Looking good. Good start. Hey, are you, you nervous, know Tony? Yes. In barrier one, Tony Street and Todd Mitchell. And uh, on the arrow, Waipipi Falcon. <laughs> Gordon Christie and Zach Butcher out of Barrier C. CB1 Breakfast Challenge, Dawn Derby, green light is on, and we're off and pacing. The talking's over, let the battle commence. And first out is the big bell, Bella Rising, Tony Street, and four times New Zealand Cup winning driver Todd Mitchell, and they'll head on to the stables corner in front. Why Pippi Falcon, Gordon Christie and Zach Butcher trailing as they uh, come across the top 1400 metres left to pace. Bella Rising has been our leader since the green light was activated at the start. A length and a half as they come into the lane. They lead away with the big bell. She's chiming nicely in front as uh, she comes down to the judge with a circuit left to make as they uh, get down the back with 700 metres left to go. Bella Rising, Tony Street and Todd Mitchell. They extend their lead now by two lengths. Why Pippi Falcon? He'll look to shoot past the leader in the home straight here. Rawdon Christie and Zach Butcher and uh, inside the final quarter they work as they corner up and uh, the big bell, Bella Rising coming after it is the arrow White Pippi Falcon looking to shoot past it 1.20 left to go the big bell, she's chiming nicely in front, Tony Street keeps her up to the mark and the big bell, Bella Rising will take the TV1 Breakfast Challenge Dawn Derby here at Alexandra Park by just on a length over the arrow White Pippi Falcon, Rawdon Christie and that'll be second. So the big bell, Bella Rising, has led from that away to Tony Street. She was the favourite for the event. Second place. Fun, Should I jump fun. off? Yeah, yeah jump off. Swing the oh. legs around. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Whoa. I just cruised off mine. Victorious Todd. High 10. Boom. It was great when I had the horse, like, on my left guy. I was going, go away! You're too close to me! Ah! I think the other team, they look oh. a bit worried out there. I think they did too. I think Rawdon was their big draw, drawback, but, hey. One too many pies. <laughs> Your prize? 
and over. <laughs> Well, wow, what can I say? This is a really big moment for me. Seeing the crowd here today, it just fills me with joy to be able to just come home and win this challenge. To my uh, comrade Rawdon, it was a really close race, and I'd just like to make a shout-out to him. You can't always win, but next time there's always another challenge. To the fans, thanks for coming out in your droves. It's been a great day. <laughs> So, well done, Todd. You won this week's challenge. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Wow, what an experience. It was very cool. That was amazing. Apart from when your horse was right here, that was a little bit scary. But, Alexander Park, thank you so much for looking after us because it was the best day. We felt safe as um, all the protective clothing. And actually, what an experience. 50 k's. And we were allowed to drive a little bit, but not in the main race. And Zach and I thought we'd have to let you and the hero win. Yeah, you, you, you gave it to us. Anyone can do it, by the way, too. You can go there and do a, an event if you'd like to have a crack.